Hey guys, Springpray here, and welcome to the 59th episode of my Let's Play of Europe Universal Ice 4 as Japan. Last episode, we, uh, you know, started to kick some more ass in this war against Portugal. Let's keep on doing that because we want to peace out. We have our deal. It's like 50% or something like that. Yeah, 56 in there. They're almost there. They're sort of like, they're apparently making gains or something. So, uh, we gotta put that down. The thought that they're making gains. We also need to take our transport fleet back, because if you didn't notice, uh, well, let's go fight them here, because apparently they're going to try to attack us there. Yeah, let's take our, we need our big fleet back here, because there's a, they're attacking Oman. So let's, let's merge up these guys here, so we don't have like a massive military armies section. Alright, and we'll just merge up all these guys here in Gangzhou, because we have a 90 force limit in Gangzhou, so why not? We still have no missions. I've reloaded like several times and they keep giving us this shitty missions. I, I can't roll the seeds because it's like 50 heavy ships. We can't do that. We don't have that many. Uh, but next month we can build another manufacturing. Where's Muncie? Oh, they'll get it. Yeah, see this is what we need to come deal with. Is that. Can we, can we select the boats, please? Alright, fine. There we go. I will not be beaten by this stupid game. Alright, uh, I guess we'll make two big armies then. Because why not? And then when the troops come, or when the rest of the ships come, we can go over there and uh, wreck them. Silly Portuguese. Okay, let's build ourselves a trade company over here because, as you can see, it's going to give us 16 more ducats per month by producing it because, of course, we're the only ones in the entire world who produce Chinaware, obviously, because we own all of China. I think so. If we look at the trade goods, I'm pretty sure, like, maybe France owns one, but, like, we own everything else. Trade value, trade goods. There we go. So, yeah, we see France owns, like, one, and then over here, yeah, we own that one, we own that one, we own that one. We own all of them, pretty much, except for just this one that own, that France owns. But still, as you can see, Chinaware is only produced at 57% of the demand, which is 150, so that's, that's really good. Chinaware is, like, really nice to produce. We are, that's, like, what we owe our income and stuff to, and our awesome economy. Hopefully Russia doesn't come in here and try to take it. We've, they've been uh, so content with us. Discontent. I wonder if they've actually been getting um, claims on us. No. They haven't been getting claims. But they did annex uh, the Ariad Horde. So they must really hate us now because we have a big ass border. But the Russians, I don't understand. How can they be, they're, they're Eastern or whatever, right? And then like, they're Eastern, but they're still tech same as us. Shouldn't there? I guess they have Eastern units, so that kind of hurts them. But still, whatever. We're still like ten years ahead in military tech, so I bet you we'll get another t a tech in before we have to, or sorry, another idea in before we tech up, because our guy's actually pretty smart at the uh, military tech stuff. Muskogee is over. Are they ready to peace out for what we want, or no? They're getting there. We'll probably just, yeah, cancel that. They're not going to give us what I, what we want. So you can move these troops over. How about we send some to go help up there? And then our 35 stack, we can go stand in Japanico. Yeah, we put down those revolts. What, we, what we're doing is we're stealing their trade power, which is going to be a very helpful uh, well, not really. It's not going to really affect us much, but it will totally destroy them because they like rely fifty percent of their trade power. While it's not going to give us any money, it will destroy their economy because Portugal, as you know, is like a big colonizer, and a lot of their stuff is based off of 
trade. I'm pretty, I, I'd hope, I mean, this is not like a waste of time, I'd hope. You know, Russia's trying to get it on our border and stuff, so. I wonder what would happen if we declared war on Russia. Would Austria come to help us? <sighs> Austria's like, no, fuck you. I guess because they're still in this war with UK, which has been like, forever. Are they allied with Portugal? No. But I guess the reason why they're not wanting to go war against Portugal is because they were allies with Great Britain. Or already at war with Great Britain, rather. Denmark and the Netherlands are they're having a tough time fighting that. Still no good stuff. Sweden looks like integrated Norway. Cool. For them, I guess. What does Sweden have? Mission. Recover Finland. Oh, good luck. Good luck against Russia. Pretty sure they can hold on to Finland for the entirety of the game. Oh good, we're getting some sieges done. That's nice. Looks like the Cherokee broke free. Or Cherokee, whatever. Somebody, I think it was Shen. Shen keeps saying Cherokee when he was playing them for Trail of Tears or whatever. And it's Cherokee. It's Cherokee. Cherokee. I'm pretty sure. No, they're still not giving us what we want, but eventually we will get it. Ooh, our ruler dies. Damn it. So now we have a regency. Hopefully this is a good regency. No, of course it's a shit regency. And our guy is not great, but... He could be better, you know? Like, that's what I'm saying. So, what's our... Do we have military access somewhere? Yeah, let's cancel our access here. We do not need it. Uh, do we already tech up? No, we're so close. They want to tech so bad. We'll do it. We'll just lose some. Um, we'll just pay some money. It's fine. It's two loans. We'll pay it back almost instantaneously as soon as we uh, finish off this war here. Yeah, but Portugal is done being in this war. So are all our allies, though. Did Delhi already peace out individually? No, Delhi's actually still hanging on here. Thank you. I wonder why Delhi is low. So yeah, we're sieging. A bunch of sieges are finishing up. That's nice. Like, I really hope they'll take it, but... I mean, if they don't... So you can make them give us a lot of money. Alright, I think that's what we're going to do instead. We'll just give them some more land back to our vassals. We're getting that back. This thing here to sell to Oban. Alright, that's good for me. Alright, hopefully nothing changes like this day. Alright, they accepted our generous peace offer. Now, we better have sold those things. Yeah, Japanico got them. And Japanifornia got these things. Yeah, Japanico is not going to be able to, like, defend this stuff, so. Where's their capital? I guess 60 is a good amount. Let's go to the tip here. And you guys come down to the tip here. Alright, so we can get out of there. Good job, guys. Nobody peaced out early. We all love everyone. We should probably more 60% of my income though. I don't know. I can't get it to that high. We're only at 33% right now. 
Incorporate Champa? Sure. And probably Oman after we sell them this. Hey, Oman. Oh, we have no, we have no diplomats. Alright, well, we're going to convert... Let's convert this one first. And then let's look at our stability and expansion page. Manage our extension. Alright, so Palawan is the one right here. And then Kuistan, right, is this thing. Yeah. So we're making a core there. It didn't cost that much. It cost a lot, but not too much. Alright, we're going to send there. I guess we don't want to send both. Kill those idiots. And then we're going to take these troops, and since they're exiled, we can walk all the way back home. Let's squash this, these revolts. So yeah, Russia's like looking at us pretty, like they're smacking their lips at us right now. Establish Russia in the spy zones. <laughs> Do they have claims on us down there? No. Nope. Thank God it didn't give them claims. Is anybody down here westernized? Besides us. Alright, well whatever. We're going to get some diplomats back very shortly and then we'll send them off on their duties. Yeah, that's exactly what I didn't want to do. So yeah, how's our guys over here doing? Is it rebels already? Yeah, nineteen percent, thirty percent revolt risk. Holy crap! All right, we're gonna send some these guys. We'll stay here. Keep these guys down there. Yeah, I don't think we're going to ever convert that. <laughs> or Marscar. Yeah, so, yeah, we're going to send those guys up there. Kill those rebels. Can't believe those rebels already spawning, oh my god. But man, that Russia is so freaking scary. Leave me alone, Russia. Leave me alone. I like how Russia has claims on Kazan, but it's like, they're for their vassal. Uh, <laughs> why did that give it to them? Oh well. See, are we about to tech up yet in our... Yeah, we're getting there. The neighbor's bonus is helping, though. And we just lost a dude. Wow, these guys keep dying like all the time. So we're making we're caught we're spending six ducats because we're over the force limit. That's okay. Let's uh let's put our force our maintenance to half. Let's see, uh Oman. My friend, are you ready to buy this? Wow. Did the claim seriously go up already? Oh my god, freaking hell. God damn it. Well, Baluchistan. I can't believe it. They claimed this like 25 years ago. Really? Oh, Jesus Christ. Takes 44 court. Alright, I guess we might as well. Damn it! <laughs> I can't believe that happened. How many units does Persia have? Probably 60,000 or something like that, right? So 
So of course Russia has like a shitload. Then we have the next best after Ottomans and Persia. Persia, Persia, Persia is right here with 20,000 units total. Okay. Time to go to war. Oh, damn it, we have a Regency Council. Seriously, I can't believe our guy died. This is so stupid. Oh, damn, we lost. We lost against... Oh, we start paying for our military. God damn it. Oh, well. So, yeah, guys. I, I, I don't know. I'm trying to think here. I'm trying to, like, you know, in my head, I'm trying to plan what we could do. I, I feel like I made mistakes in the beginning. First of all, trying to colonize as Japan in the New World is very difficult, and as you can see, I mean, it works okay, because we do, like, transport, we get a lot of trade from there, but I think what would have been better would have been to, um, would have been to attack Russia, you know, like, with colonization more like you know call it like because this is where manchuria ended right so we russia was colonized about here when we started integrating manchuria so we could have easily colonized do to do to do like over here and then block them off and then had all of this to ourselves, which would have given us a lot better of an advantage i would say over the russians so Perhaps what we should have done, instead of trying to carry, you know, oh yeah, we need to explore, blah blah blah, get over here, and do stuff. Maybe it would have been better if we had just taken, like, expansion ideas first. So, like, as we look at our ideas, instead of exploration, if we had taken expansion ideas, gotten that, because it'll give us two colonists instead of just the one that you get over here, we would have been able to colonize very quickly in our own area where we had vision which would have been like all most of this area and where that's where we get our non distant overseas anyways so that would have worked out really great and then on top of that if we had uh, that would have made russia smaller which i think we're gonna end up russia's gonna just rape us very shortly so i i don't really look forward to that also if we had more power we probably would have been able to like Maybe, yeah, we'd have more room, and there'd be more room for us to expand and maybe even challenge the uh, European powers. But right now, I just don't, like, we can barely fight the Ottomans. I don't really see much more room for expansion as Japan. I think we took the, we got a bunch of achievements. We did the, uh, you know, we formed Japan. We did everything. So I think that's going to be it for this Let's Play, guys. I think we've gotten to a point where it's just no longer interesting to play as Japan. I, we don't have any real goals anymore. Like, our goal was to go and colonize. We did that in the New World. Our goal was to take over China and stuff. We did that. And the Russians kind of, you know, I was thinking maybe we would colonize more. But the Russians kind of put the stomp on that because they they super colonized quickly. And we have our three colonists free. There's absolutely no more colonization in the world. So I think we accomplished our goals very, very effectively. So I think it's fine for us to call it a close here. I would have liked to have finished the game, though, just to have gotten the... Um, the achievement for finishing the game, but I'm sure we'll finish the game with another nation where we have more opportunity to do things. The reason why I'm ending it now is just because I feel like there's no more room for expand. There's no more like we don't. I don't really have a plan, you know. There's nowhere like I feel like, oh yeah, we could expand on the Ottomans by releasing some of their vassals, but really, like I, I would really like to expand against Russia, but that's just not going to happen. Um, waiting on the Austria to fulfill their destiny as and create the uh, Holy Roman Empire is probably not going to happen. They only have three whole reforms left and they're, they have been not doing well or, you know, at least not getting a lot of power recently or imperial authority. So I, I doubt that's going to have anything special on it. So I think what we're going to do now is we're going to wind down and we're going to take a look at some cool map nodes. So first off, we did very good at spreading Shinto. There's only just a few, like, very, very high base tax over here, um, like here, where it's uh, still Confucian, but that's just because it's, like, so much to convert it. We could never convert it. It would take 92 months. Take, like, that's, like, 10 years or something. We could do it, though, if you really tried. Anyways, so let's go look on uh, HRE. Let's see how the HRE did. Looks like Bohemia spanned out a little bit into Commonwealth, but it looks pretty much normal. This is like normal starting HRE, pretty much. Not much changed. France over here is very weird. I, I have never seen a Burgundy this powerful. Or at least in my Let's Plays. I mean, the last obviously, last time we played France, of course, we didn't let Burgundy get this big. But that's really interesting to see such a powerful Burgundy. Usually the AI just like loses it, you know, they they lose uh, they lose Burgundy altogether and it gets split between Austria and France, but that that just didn't happen this time. Lucky for them. 
All right, so then after that, we're gonna let's go check out the spheres of influence. France. Well, that's just Burgundy's sphere of influence. We have nothing to do. Why is it not? Why is it not changing? Here, let's lock the map modes open, please. There we go. Okay. So yeah, we can see our own first sphere of influence goes on. We have all these colonies over here. Our alliances included both Austria and the um, Austria and Delhi. Delhi was our ally. We've been married to them forever, which I think would have been really cool if we had shared their dynasty at some point and stolen their throne. That would have been cool, but it just didn't happen. Our trade value is very weird. I, I mean, like obviously everything that's green is Chinaware. So Chinaware apparently is the shiz. Uh, not very much color over here either. Hajez is very... I wonder why. Why is it so good at trading? Oh, because they have spices. Ooh. Spicy. We got a bunch of buildings. Um, mostly in our area over here. But we didn't really get to build many buildings because we had to westernize, of course. So all of our points kind of went to that. And now all our points are kind of going to tech. We might have caught up and built some more buildings later on. But, yeah. So we still got some more conversions to do. Uh, there's no federations or anything special. Supply limit. Boring. Uh, manpower. We got a bunch of manpower from China. It's really cool. Regions. I mean, yeah. Regions. <laughs> uh, people did not hate us really that much. Uh, Ottomans, of course, hate us to death for no reason. I mean, we just dishonored their alliance when they got raped by Russia. Uh, Russia does not like us. They never liked us from the entire game on... Um, but yeah, we got, we have pretty good relations with the lower Asian people here. Only like minus 20. If we had tried, we could have done it. The culture thing was really important to us. So Manchu, Han, and Cantonese, Korean, and Japanese are all in our... That's a big, a big culture group. So our goal for this was, when we were taking over China, was to go and get all the Chinese cultures. Because, you know, that's going to give us the most things. As you can see, all of this is accepted that we have over here. Besides, of course, you know, the Portuguese, and then we stole Mascar and stuff like that. But a lot of it is Japanese and Han and accepted. It's really nice because we get a lot of base tax from it. Uh, on tech, we're leading, you know, matching up with Russia pretty much on par. And the rest of the world is too. Anyway, let's take a look at the leisure now that we have a minute. Let's take a We'll start at country. Now, who had the best income? Japan. Wow, we actually had the best income in the game. And the... Biggest treasury goes to Bohemia with 6,000, and Navajo is <laughs> with 2,000. Our score, ah, I forgot about the score, we're seventh in the world. Behind the Ottomans, first place, which is really weird, I'd say Russia's winning the g so much. They get, I can't believe the Ottomans get so many points per month when they can't even beat Russia in a war, as we discovered a while ago. Score over time, Japan right here. Techs, we were doing pretty good. Religions, uh, we could be defender of the Shinto faith, but I don't think that's actually a thing, is it? Yeah, Shinto is part of the Eastern religion group and doesn't allow a defender of the faith, so... I mean, it doesn't matter if, like, somebody got... We're the only Shinto in the entire game, so... So, yeah. The most productive province was Jalolia with, uh, Chinaware. Obviously, Chinaware, I'm telling you, Chinaware is the shit. Get some Chinaware, you'll know what I mean. Our provinces kind of jumped a little bit there. Advisors, less leaders, Holy Roman Emperor, he's the only guy. Buildings, 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 armies. There we go. Here, I know that's interesting pretty much. Uh, Russia, of course. Yeah, this is why I'm telling you they're going to rape us. They have 100,000 more troops than we do. And our force limits aren't even that far apart, which is ridiculous. Navies? We actually had a really good navy. We're just behind Great Britain, pretty much. But their force limit is just amazing. They have over 126 plus their force limit from ports. We have just... From ports... Yeah. We have a little bit better from ports. But they have buildings, I guess, a lot. Yeah, they have a lot of buildings. And their merchants, too. They've got more of those. And their grand navy is plus 50%, too. So, that's, like, insane. National armies? What? National navies, army regulations, ships, income comparisons. Let's see who's who's. What do we do best on? Russia's got the best taxes, right behind it. We're like third place. Production, we obviously have the best because of our Chinaware. 
trade as the Ottomans. I guess that's how they make other stuff. How's Portugal on trade, by the way? Just see how much we would have... Oh, they only make... Tw they make hardly anything from that. Russia makes a lot of gold. Wow, that's interesting. We make a little bit. Tariffs. Oh, that's where they make all their money is from tariffs, apparently. Portugal. Uh, vassals, we have just a few. I can't... How are we winning? Oh, I guess that's all our... I don't know. Harbor fees, subsidies, tax, and total is us. Yeah, we got our inflation down pretty good a while back. Cost overview, loans. Yeah, we got some loans right now. We could pay back, should pay back. Friendly relations, yep. So it's going to be really fun to play another a country that's not like Shinto. <laughs> Alright, well that was all the trade things. Um, is there anything else cool to look at before we go? Players, yeah, that's me. Spray and pray one. Our colonial range is obviously everywhere. Alright. Well, that's going to about do it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll start a new Let's Play next time. And I'm thinking... Uh, I don't know for sure, so don't take my word on this. It might be different. But I think what we're going to do is play Brandenburg. I think we might play Brandenburg. Just because I want to do um, some HRE thing. I want to do HRE, but of course, you know, I don't want to play Austria or Bohemia because those guys are the powerhouses of that. I want to play Brandenburg, form Germany, then form the HRE. So I think that's what we're going to do in Iron Man mode. Anyways, this has been Iron Man mode the whole time. So I think, can we, is there like a resign button or something? No, uh, but uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. If there is a resign button, we'll look at it, but uh, I doubt it. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Spring Free out.